Hello, I'm Mathieu from Ludovs.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Happy Winchester. This is a bidding game for 3 to 5 players ages 8 and up and plays for around 40 minutes. So this is a game in which uh, you are the grandsons of Happy Winchester and your grandfather has kicked the bucket, sorry. And you will divide his estate among you and you need to have the most money at the end of the game and basically you are going to bid for the 19 plots that make up his estate. So how does that work? Well, first, every player has two secret objectives, hats which are going to mark up the property that you're going to have, a dual token because you can create a dual to win an auction, and finally some money. The money you can keep secret, you can keep it on the table, in your hand, uh, the players can't count your money and uh, you're just supposed to keep it kind of secret. So. How does it work? Well, there is going to be a bid and you're going to draw one of the tokens uh, and you're going to look at what plot is going to be auctioned. In this case, it's going to be plot number five. It's this one. So this plot is auctioned. Fine. We can bid in thousands of dollars with uh, our, our banknotes. So for example, I'm going to bid 3,000. I have to make bids that I can pay and if I pass, I cannot go back into the bidding. So let's imagine that no one wants to surpass my 3,000. I would have to pay those 3,000 because I am the winner of the bid, and then I have to pay it to all of the other players. So for example, I'm going to give a 1,000 there, a 1,000 there, and then the last $1,000 is going to go to the saloon as a tip. And then I'm going to place my hat here because simply I, um, I have acquired this plot and some of the plots have cards in them, so you have the range and the mines. This is randomized and uh, at the beginning of every game, and this would allow me to get, an, uh, get a card, which is very nice. So I'm going to get this card to reveal it, and then it's a mine that contains $3,000, so I will take them from the bank. I will also activate the token, take the token and activate it. I have three different types of token here. I have the rumor or gossip token, which allows me either to look up at a card, so it might be the range, the mine, so for example, this range is worth zero dollars, so I know that it's, it's a no-go. I can go there and watch uh, what objectives other players have, so it's going to give me information. I have the saloon, and the saloon allows me to take all of the tips but the one that was placed here this turn. So if I took a saloon um, this turn, it would allow me to score $1,000. And finally, you have the boat slash train. If I activate this, I can move either the boat one space, uh, the train one space, or the boat one space. So I can make them go backward or forward. This doesn't matter uh, as long as the boat stays on the river and the train stays on its tracks. What it does is basically it's going to be scoring additional dollars if you have a plot that is close to the boat or close to the train. So. In this case, the boat is going to move forward, I'm going to get $1,000, and no one gets anything else. If uh, Purple had something, they would get an additional $1,000 as well. This is all for the tokens. I told you about dueling, so if you still have your dual token, you can spend it if uh, there are only two persons including you into the bidding. You spend that dual token, you uh, shuffle these dual cards, and you give one to your opponent and one to you. If you have the uh, the real gun card, you win the duel and you uh, you pay the auction as the highest amount. And if you have the fake gun, you lose the auction. So this is how duels work. We we ha all have one dual token, and that's it. Finally, the final step of the of the round is checking if uh, we can uh, gain objectives. So we have common objectives here, which are basically prerequisites. To gain more money. So for example, if I had one territory of every type, I could score that objective, get that heap of money, and score that objective. The end of the game is triggered when all 19 plots have been auctioned. So at the end of the game, the players are going to reveal their personal objective cards and score them if they have managed to fulfill the, those. So they are going to take additional money. And additionally, if you have the biggest number of plots, you're going to get $5,000 as a bonus. Then you're going to count up your money, and if you have the most of it, you win the game. So Happy Winchester is essentially a bidding war, uh, and you're going to try to evaluate, to appraise the value of the plots that 
are going to be auctioned. So obviously with the rumors, there's going to be a little bit of bluff involved. So now bye-bye and see you on Univox.fr.